I, by any definition, Mike Lindell is out of his mind, right? I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I think that there is a mad dash to retain the Trump supporter. Like, I think Fox is quite worried. Well, and, and they're, they're making up for their, their quick call, as it were. Yes. In Arizona, I mean, they, they fired that guy who made the call. That's right. They did. And so now they've got to have the my pillow guy on to appeal to the they, Trump fans. They got to show their bona fides. Yeah. Here's Mike Lindell, who incidentally was uh, bounced from Twitter. And he was bounced from Twitter because I guess he had what repeatedly like put up lies, f- fairy tales of the, the election or uh, whatnot. Um, and here he is um, joining Tucker Carlson. So as you can see, completely silenced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was Tulsi Gabbard on before or after Mike Lindell? I don't know, but but my point being that um, if we can hear you talk on your cable television program, <laughs> you're probably not silenced. But here you go. Down all the way, I just couldn't do anything, and they were running my Twitter like they were me. My friends are going, "You're not tweeting very much," and when you do, I said, "I'm not doing that." So I. Tried- Okay, erasing Mike Lindell is the is the Chiron. Erasing Mike Lindell. <laughs> what Lindell is ex- is explaining here is that his Twitter was hacked, mm-hmm. and um, by of course the Germans, because he revealed the whole thing about the server and the Dominion. Right. Dominion, I think, is also. I don't know if they're suing him, but they're suing uh, Rudy Giuliani. This is a bold move by them to hack. Lindell's Twitter account while they're in the midst of a suit. I mean, that's bold. But here we go. They got to build their case. Down all the way, I just couldn't do anything. And they were running my Twitter like they were me. My friends are going, you're not tweeting very much. And when you do, I said, I'm not doing that. So I tried to take it down and I got a tweet, a thing from Germany saying, these are Twitter rules and you cannot do this. Take anything down. So they ran my Twitter for about 14 days, 15 days. Then yesterday, they they put it back up so I could run it, and I made one tweet, and the tweet was a good a good letter written by one of my employees because I'm getting attacked about my integrity and stuff, and they took it down five minutes later. And then a week ago, they did a Dominion, went on, line, on TV and, and said they were going to go after Mike Lindell. Well, they did. They hired hit groups and bots and trolls, went after all my vendors, all these box stores to cancel me out, this cancer culture. Fake stories coming out to attack my Lindell Recovery Network, which helps addicts across the country. It's just a shame, Tucker. What they if they can do it to me, believe me, they can do it to anyone out there. But we're not I'm not backing down. We cannot back down out of fear this time. Nobody I can. Totally I told agree. these box stores, you guys, these aren't real people. These are trolls and bots. The real people will buy the products and will support you. You can't do this just because they cancel you. Try and cancel culture. Can can we ask you one question since I now, I want to just say, because credit where credit's due, so far they haven't run a single coupon code for my pillow. That says cancel culture? I, I mean, I don't know, but I've never seen Mike Lindell in any context without there being a coupon code for my right. pillow. And I'm surprised, yeah. I mean, you would think Tucker would let him show that image he clearly contractually obligates for every one of his media appearances of him holding the pillow right with the my pillow logo beneath it <laughs> exactly tucker's like that's a bridge too far for me this is not newsmax good sir am i the only one who thinks that like if i'm gonna have this guy on my national cable television program i would just say like wait a second i'm sorry wait they controlled your twitter for 14 days i'm not clear could you repeat that mm-hmm. part again because i'm not i don't get it like you they, they controlled your twitter for 14 days and your friends like you're not tweeting much Dude, but, tweeting and not remembering what you tweeted, I'm not saying, but that doesn't mean that Germany hacked your Twitter No, account. Germany's always involved yeah. in the Twitter also, thing. Also, thank God that that Jane Krakowski story was completely false. Here, Didn't date her. Didn't date her. Nope. Nope. Here is uh, Mike Lindell uh, uh, just going on about why he's been censored, His cancel, the cancel culture. And you know about this, of course, because it was on a national cable television program <laughs> just moments uh, after he was canceled. Of course. This is like ridiculous. Yeah. They, like, you know, I, why would everybody want to know the truth of this country? Just let let the truth be told. If there's nothing to hide, let's bring it out so we all yeah, can see it. Definitely. Instead, they're exactly. trying to erase Mike Lindell and erase my pillow. Well, I'm not going to be erased. Oh, I mean, oh. all these, all my friends that. 
deposit? Did they put they up a coupon? They did coupon, so forgot, forget those toys. mentions them. <laughs> so close, close. Fox was like, we can't explicitly put a coupon code up, but if we mention that there are coupons. People can do the work. Yeah. People can do the work. <laughs> well, they're saying it's a counter boycott to Bed Bath & Beyond about those mailer coupons. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, yeah. Here we go. Lost their, they lost their YouTube channels. They lost their Facebook. Two million followers. One guy has 12 employees. He's gone. His livelihood he built up is just gone. Um, any, any business churches that supported the president, that's a whole other issue. They're being attacked, and they're going to be just you know, canceled. No, I've, I've noticed. Mike Lindell, I really appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very well, much. Well, thank you, Tucker. Thanks for having me on, and God bless you. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Uh, Mike Lindell, seen. he sells pillows. Why has he been censored? And by the way, before he's like, oh, it's... Yeah, what? we're aware that he sells pillows. He sells pillows. I, I mean, why? The idea that he's been... <sighs> yeah. He's well, on your show. He's on your show. He's not been canceled. And the idea where he's like, this can happen to me, it can happen to anybody. Like, you're a uh, CEO and the president's prominent batshit, like, screamer on the stump. I mean, for- Co- Colin Kaepernick, he plays football and he's been canceled. Yeah, yeah I know. He wasn't that concerned that, about that. And that guy's really been canceled. Yeah. Uh, or, like, pull up. Pull up the uh, clip from Tucker Carlson, because Tucker Carlson was on MSNBC um, back in the early aughts. Pull up the clip of Tucker Carlson bemoaning the fact that Phil Donahue got bumped from there because he was anti-war. Oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they're telling me in the control room they don't have that. Okay, I, did I jump the gun there? No, I was. Uh, I, really? I was just, I was doing let it my ride. Little, my, yeah, I mean, come on, give me a break. Cancel culture like this has been going on forever, and uh, but Phil Donahue didn't have the opportunity to go on a rival network or anywhere else for that matter and say I just got canceled because I was speaking out against the war. It's commodified aggrievement. We've talked about this before, and like there is not a more stark example of it than the raving and ranting my pillow guy who refers to himself in the third person going on tv and using and 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 advertising his coupon codes to talk about how canceled he is i mean that is just the crystallization of the issue right there kaepernick you talk about like getting i mean kaepernick was basically shut out by a monopoly i mean thank god he has that nike deal which i think is really you know profitable for him but stunning yeah 